Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. May the blessings of our Lord be upon you as we gather here today. It is with a heart filled with faith and reverence that we come together on the Awakened Faith Channel, seeking spiritual guidance and enlightenment. In the sacred tradition of our Catholic faith, we find strength and solace in the messages that have been delivered to us by the Heavenly Messengers. Today, we are honored to bring you a profound and thought-provoking message from St. Michael the Archangel to Father Chris Aller. We invite you to not only absorb the message but also to be messengers of hope and truth. Please, like, share, and subscribe to our Awakened Faith channel, as it is through your support that we can continue to spread the Word of God and the wisdom imparted by divine messengers like St. Michael. Together, let us walk this path of faith, inspired by the guidance of the heavenly realms and united in our commitment to live as true disciples of Christ. May the peace of the Lord be with you all, and may this message awaken your faith to new heights. October 1st A message from St. Michael the Archangel to Father Chris Aller, intended for the people of the United States of America, you have been misled by your leaders and politicians, fostering a belief that you reside in a land of liberty and bravery. Sadly, you can no longer rightfully claim such a title, which has gradually eroded since your nation's inception. Over time, there has been a continuous erosion of your deeply held beliefs that the United States is a republic under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Through the centuries, you have been deceived, even by those who played a role in founding the United States. Driven by their affiliations with secret societies and Masonic beliefs, they surreptitiously established a shadow government, influenced by dark forces. These malevolent influences, driven by power, materialism, and greed, have transformed this once great nation into a system of oppressive control over its citizens. The evil one exercises dominion over your government, institutions, and many of your educational facilities. This nation, once renowned, has now become tainted and corrupted. You have enacted laws and embraced philosophies that undermine the sanctity of life. The act of aborting unborn children and the acceptance of the demonic ideology of free choice to obscure the existence of life in the womb are among the most grave and reprehensible sins against your Lord and Creator committed by this country. You have proudly portrayed your nation as a global leader in the fight against terrorism worldwide. However, paradoxically, you have become a source of more terrorism and conflict than any other country in the modern era. Naturally, you may not perceive it this way, for your leaders have ingrained in you the belief that your nation is the paragon of democracy and a champion of global freedom. Regrettably, viewed from the spiritual realms, your nation's actions do not align with the divine will of the Heavenly Father who created all of you. It is imperative that you awaken to the reality that your nation is no longer the great nation it once aspired to be. A shadow government has assumed control, accountable not to the Heavenly Father but to his adversary, Satan, the ruler of the netherworld, who has descended to your earthly realm to sow chaos and destruction among humanity. You have passively observed as Masonic forces have manipulated and tainted your laws, enabling them to exert control over your country, serving both their personal interests and those of the malevolent one. Your legislative bodies have been tainted by the evil one, as you have elected officials into prominent positions who openly admitted to advancing satanic agendas through the enactment of laws, including those that infringe upon the sanctity of life in the womb. As a nation, you have strayed from your moral compass, and as a consequence, you are unraveling and deteriorating due to your failure to recognize the profound value of life and its sacredness. Throughout the centuries, you have received numerous admonitions from individuals of integrity and courage who sought to guide you in distinguishing between right and wrong, much like your forefathers intended when founding this nation. Alas, from the very beginning, 
the malevolent one has been gradually eroding your nation, to the point where it is now entirely corrupted and lacks a moral compass to discern what is righteous in the eyes of your Lord and Savior. Your nation has received numerous warnings in the past, urging you to amend your ways, yet it seems that these messages have fallen on deaf ears. It appears that you have not heeded the guidance of God or His divine plan for the future of your country. Consequently, you are now facing the very consequences you were forewarned about, should you fail to realign your nation with the ways of the Lord and Savior. The demise of your nation, whether as a republic or a democracy, has been orchestrated by your own leaders and influential figures who have conspired against the best interests of the citizens. Their motivations lie in personal gain, driven by materialism, greed, and the pursuit of power over the rest of humanity. As previously cautioned, your nation will face devastation unless you reverse the tide of malevolence and implement the Heavenly Father's plan, not only to salvage your country but also to save all of humanity. You are now in a period known as the End Times, during which significant global events are unfolding to bring about a transformation for the better. However, the initial stages of these events encompass both global geophysical and geopolitical occurrences that may be unsettling. These events are a necessary purge to rid the world of the malevolence that has taken hold. You have been implored to stand with the Heavenly Father to steer humanity towards a brighter future, but regrettably, your response has been inadequate. Consequently, the challenging events will persist. Your best course of action now is to take up spiritual arms alongside the Heavenly Father. By doing so, you, your family, and friends may navigate the difficult times ahead and emerge unscathed. Fortunately, the Father in Heaven is abundantly merciful towards His children, providing support to those who answer His call. Once again, you are summoned to pledge your unwavering allegiance to the Heavenly Father, allowing you to become resilient spiritual warriors during these end times. Saint Michael the Archangel Saint Michael, Heavenly Defender and Protector, we turn to you in humble supplication. You, who stand as a beacon of strength and courage in the celestial realms, be our shield and safeguard against the forces of darkness that may assail us. With unwavering faith, we beseech you to intercede on our behalf, to lend us your mighty sword and your divine guidance. Help us to overcome the trials and tribulations that we encounter on our earthly journey. Guard us, O Archangel, from the snares of evil and lead us towards the radiant light of God's eternal love. Instill within us the fortitude to face adversity with grace, and the wisdom to discern right from wrong. May your benevolent presence be a source of comfort and protection for us and all those we hold dear. Saint Michael, defend us in battle and guide us in our quest for spiritual truth. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of the video. Thank you for listening and God bless you.